Hey, hey, Aries, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your November 2022 Health, Wealth, and Abundance bonus reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we'll dive into the collective energy of Aries, so please do take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or even entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links, Aries, in the description box below. All right, so we are going to dive first into the category of health, so please do see the medical disclaimer in the description box below. All right, so you have the crown chakra that is illuminated for you this month. And the crown chakra is very, very pivotal, especially when it comes to how we feel, mental health, emotional, physical, spiritual. So this may bring up the question for us, how are we feeling with connection? Do we feel we're connected to the divine? Do we feel disconnected from source, from ourselves? Are we feeling anxious, depressed? Are we questioning our life path or purpose? Do we feel the trust in the universe that our needs will be met somehow? There is this energy here of the crown chakra being illuminated and I, I sense here that there's a lot going on this month with your intuition. We are in Scorpio season. Scorpio energy can be about mysticism, deep emotions and feelings, connecting to our spiritual beliefs and our spiritual side. Now this crown chakra is located around the head area and it governs the pineal gland. It governs our skin, our hormones, our balance, our emotions to uh, at times our spiritual beliefs. Even though emotions can connect in this heart region, the crown chakra and the heart chakra are very closely related because when we feel disconnected from the world or from source or from ourselves, we can feel a little bit down. We can feel low on energy. It, it uh, fatigues our adrenals and hormones hormones may be out of balance as well. Some of you may be feeling a little dizzy, may be feeling spacey. It can also cause migraines, headaches, pressure to the head region as well. Uh, so if you are feeling alone or disconnected, this is the perfect time to ground your energy, especially around that full moon eclipse on the 8th of November. And it's time for you to reconnect with source. You can see here in the Five of Pentacles areas that she is, she's a river away from the home there and she's standing on this, this mountaintop or this bluff and she's holding the lantern so she has the light within her that will guide the way and there's a full moon which you can see in the background there and that's about grounding your energy but also full moons are about illumination intuition subconscious things being uh, exposed so you can see the truth of what you need to do to move forward here and you can see that there's a light in the house off in the distance so I do feel like there is connection coming in for you this month regarding health if you have been feeling disconnected, this can be connecting with other like-minded individuals here. For others of you, you have been feeling a little bit stuck, drained on energy, low, disconnected, even depressed or anxious. But the Six of Swords says that you are coming out of that energy. So if you have been feeling a little bit low, now it could range from a very small sense of anxiety or depression to full blown. And again, please do seek medical professional help if need be, or work with you know a spiritual healer or someone who can work on that crown chakra energy for you as well and that heart. But this says Six of Swords is all about you leaving that behind to move towards better days. The healing begins here with the Six of Swords. So I do sense that some of you may have been questioning your purpose, your life purpose, your mission, uh, what it is that you've come here on earth to do. Or for others of you, you may have been questioning, what am I doing for a career? Or what should I do in this relationship? Or how can I bring more connection into my world? Well, the good news is here, if you have been questioning yourself in any of those areas, Aries, you are moving on to calmer waters. The Six of Swords says that you are being uplifted spiritually. I do feel like there's a, uh, I mean, we all have a spiritual group that guides us along, our spiritual team, as I like to say, which consists of our ancestors, our loved ones uh, who've crossed over, our pets, animals, angels, guides. We have them here, but sometimes we can't always hear them because of the outside noise. But you have here the observer, which is the hanged man energy. 
This is about releasing control. Some of us may really feel the need to control our circumstances, control our environment, and to control what happens to us, especially for those of you who've come from a background, a history, or a childhood that was unpredictable, or at times it would go from extreme high to extreme low. We tend to constantly live in fight or flight, needing to control our surroundings at all times because that brings in a false sense of security. This hanged man shows up for you, Aries, in a very, very powerful way because it's saying here that you're gaining a new perspective, that you are surrendering the control that maybe has been built inside you for quite some time, and you are merging beautifully with the universe and you're saying okay universe obviously I'm not in control because my situation hasn't been improving or I feel depressed I feel anxious or the relationships around me aren't working because possibly codependency because of the need to control so I do feel here for you, there is a major breakthrough moment. There is an epiphany moment that happens. It may show up as an aha moment of clarity, whether it's through watching this video, whether it is through meeting with other like-minded individuals. It could even be a support group or a network of friends, of family coming together. You may see things in a brand new light, and that's what's happening here for you. And it's going to go deep straight to that heart chakra and the crown chakra and it's going to open something within you and you're going to realize something that you weren't able to see before that's what this energy scorpio energy is all about is going deep digging in deep to our spiritual beliefs and releasing and surrendering uh, any control that we thought we had on a situation here but understanding that that doesn't help us in the long run it doesn't even help us necessarily in the short term either but your health is going forward now some of you may be recovering from some sort of surgery some sort of illness that left you in that hermit mode where you did have to either work from home uh, you may have been isolated for quite some time or you just felt a little bit alone because of mental physical or emotional health concerns but I see you uh, coming together with with other people, which it may be the holidays, it may be that you are reaching out. Uh, some of you may be connecting to your spiritual team where you're not feeling as isolated or as alone. Now, let's dive into the category of wealth. Now, when we think of wealth, we do think of money at times, but this can be career related. If you are retired, it could be money, it could be finances. So please take it as it resonates for you. But we have two cards that came out, Aries, the pendulum and the award after after some sort of could be a challenge or difficulty regarding your finances, because when you think of that pendulum, it sways from one end to the other. So you may have been uh, in a mode of indecision. You may have had to make a choice regarding your money, your finances, your career or your job. Sometimes uh, fluctuation uh, incomes can fluctuate depending on if you are a business owner or if you are in between job transitions or you may be looking for, again, a bonus, a raise, uh, or even to retire here. But this does talk about you coming up with a new strategy. And I do feel that if you have been indecisive about your money or about the next move to make regarding your career, I feel like you're making a choice here that's going to lead to a really beautiful award, Aries. And this is about winning money. It could be a payoff or a payout. For some of you, it's about recognition. And it certainly could be about public recognition as well. If you're looking for fame, fortune, if you are a social media influencer, an actor, an actress, or you are in the spotlight for some reason here because you may be getting an award, for others of you, this could just be a uh, payoff for your effort. It could be a holiday bonus. It could be a raise. Some of you may be getting a promotion here this month as well. For others of you, this is about professional work. If you have been looking for new income source, I do see it coming in here with the pendulum. So again, after a time of kind of going a little bit back and forth here, something is paying off in a, a beautiful way for you. I feel like you have been working hard on yourself, on your environment, on your career and your money, but your intuition is on point. We ha actually have here the intuition, the high priestess and the hermit. So I'm sensing here that 
Some of you may have felt that disconnect that I mentioned with the health because you've been working really hard on your finances and career and maybe it hasn't given you a lot of time to be with your family or your friends or the people that you love but your intuition has been whispering something here within your soul. It's either been telling you to leave a position and go off on your own. It's been telling you that there's been a change or there's a change in the making because I do feel a lot of you on a soul level, you know this has been calling to you for quite some time, some sort of career change or money change. Uh, the intuition card here, you can see that necklace is really illuminated on the heart chakra, but also she's wearing a cloak of yellow and red, and the yellow is the solar plexus area. That's the belly region, which is our powerhouse. It's how we feel about ourselves in the world. So ask yourself, am I feeling confident in my career, in my money? Am I feeling like my self-worth equals my net worth? Some of you, it's a perfect time to ask for compensation if you're not being fairly compensated. It's time to speak up, have a conversation uh, with someone as well. For others of you, it may be time to go off and do your own thing regarding money. Whatever has been whispering in your soul for quite some time to do, I feel like that whisper is almost going to turn into a full-blown, now I don't want to say yell or scream, but it's something that you're not going to be able to ignore because this is part of your life's purpose, your calling here, Aries. Now, hermit energy showing up here is you've been doing a lot of soul searching. You've been really going inward. Some of you may work on your um, work from home. You may work on your own or you come up with a creative idea that you've thought about where it's time for you to maybe put it out into the universe. It's time for you to manifest what it is that you've been thinking about and what you've been creating inside here. When this hermit shows up here, I do feel like there is a moment of truth, self-knowledge here. Now, if you have been feeling a little bit lonely, rejected, uh, withdrawn from society, it's a time to reconnect, ground that energy. And you do have that message showing up here from spirit as well, because you also have three major arcana showing up in the wealth sector. So for a lot of you, there are some huge pivotal changes when it does come to your wealth. You have the judgment card, which is about blossoming. It is about your life purpose, your calling. So as you can see, you'll see how all of these cards work beautifully together when it does come to health, wealth, and abundance. Because you have been questioning, what direction should I go? Some of you have been praying. Some of you have been asking spirit for messages, for signs. And if that is you, this is your sign that yes, your intuition is on point. You will blossom. You will create something beautiful within not only yourself, but you'll use your gifts and your skills and the tools that you have available to create and manifest this life of wealth and success and prosperity. This judgment card is about changing your life for the better. It's about a second chance, a do-over. Some of you may be thinking about going back to school, maybe even taking an online course, a workshop, a seminar, because you do have the study card coming up from your spiritual team, which we'll talk about here in a moment. But the judgment card is a rite of passage. There's an awakening happening within you, and I feel like that's what your intuition is telling you, that it's time to blossom. It's time to open yourself up to this big, beautiful truth truth here, Aries, and see what you are really and truly made of because you have this power within here that maybe you've only scratched on the surface. But some of you, you're figuring out how to open this ball of magic up and you can see also that's yellow. So you really do have a lot of yellow coming in here and this is about your power, stepping into your power, feeling confident about the gifts that you came here on earth, not only to utilize for yourself, but to help others through using these gifts as well and to be fairly and equally compensated for. So the fact that you have three major arcanas uh, in your wealth sector, I definitely feel that there's some aha moments going on with your wealth, but you also have a major arcana in your health and your abundance as well. So next, let's dive into your abundance, Aries. You have the pine cone. This is about spiritual realizations. Now, some of you 
you may see a pine cone. Uh, some of you may be decorating with a pine cone or you may have a Christmas tree with a pine cone on it. Uh, I really want you to pay attention to that energy of a pine cone, whether you see it on a card, whether you see it physically, or perhaps uh, it's a it's a picture that shows up on your social media feed, but that may be Spirit's message of saying, pay attention because your intuition is on point. And that's when that, that whisper is going to get loud for you. So you can really, really hear what it is that you need because your spiritual team is really speaking to you at this time. And in the category of abundance, it looks like you are absolutely overcoming the challenging times that you have faced, whether it was in your health, whether it was in your wealth, whether it was in the relationship sector, whatever in your life you've had uh, challenging times in here, it's saying that you have that choice here to now be able to choose your battles. You've always had that choice, but sometimes we don't know how to use the free will that we have. We don't know how to to make the choice or trust that the choices that we do make, because again, trust can be about that crown chakra. We don't know if the choices we make are going to be in our best interest for the short term and the long time, uh, the long term. But you have challenging times here, which I really like to see partnered with that seven of wands. So yes, you're breaking free from the challenge, the financial struggle, the health struggle, the uh, power as well, because they're really highlighting that yellow here as well. And it's like you're stepping into this new version of you, Aries, and you are, you're shielded, you're protected. You can see here that he has this shield. So I do feel like you are not just shielded and protected and supported, but I feel like there could possibly be a message or a gift or someone coming into your life that's going to help you overcome some of these challenges. It's almost as if someone can help shield you. I'm almost getting that this shield here could be a physical person. It could be a family member. It could be someone that helps you or relies on that. I'm just going to pull a card here just to take a look. Okay. They want it from the Muse Tarot. I'm going to pull a card and see about that because they're really highlighting that, uh, that shield for you quite strong. Yeah, two of swords, someone who can come in and help bring more balance and help you make that choice for yourself. So I really like this showing up. Also, it's someone who could possibly help take those blindfolds off. You can see up close here that she is wearing a blindfold. And I do feel that you have been wearing that blindfold as a source of maybe protection because sometimes we don't know how to take the blindfold off because we can st be stuck in a mental story, a limiting belief, or we don't always want to see the truth of a situation. That's, uh, you know, us having that human experience. It can be scary, but the good news is I feel like there's someone that's coming in to help you remove that blindfold and help you take that next step. So this is really good because you're choosing your battles. The seven of wands energy showing up in your abundance sector is about defending yourself, standing up for what it is that you believe in, you being brave and you protecting what is yours here, going the distance, living life on your own terms. And I sense that you have the upper hand here in this position. So whatever it is that's been challenging you, you are coming at it from a new perspective because again, I feel like there could be a message, an email, you may be speaking to a boss, a professional or a family member that is gonna really help you see things from two sides here. So you're choosing your battles and you're, you know what to fight for. And if you want to fight for a business that you have here or fight for a relationship or fight for your health, I feel like you're going to be really abundant for you fighting for the things that are in your best interest here because you have the emperor. This is beautiful. The emperor showing up here in your abundance is saying you are the leader. You see the this card I really love because the emperor actually has it's almost as if a cold or a shadow version of him that's taking a step back. So I feel like this is what you're doing. Any shadow sides of yourself. Some of you may have Aries. Uh, well, you are Aries. You have, may have Aries and other placements, but you also may have Leo as well in your chart, Aries. And this is about you letting the self-sabotage, the weaknesses, uh, anything of that nature that's held you back, the limiting beliefs, the 
the lack of belief as well with that crown chakra, you're setting that aside. And you can see that here where it's almost as if the shadow part, he's kind of uh, illuminating there, but he's ultimately standing in his power and he's embracing uh, what he needs to do to live his best life. He's also carrying a uh, like a scribe here, or he's carrying some sort of important news or message. So I do feel like there could be a news or a message coming in from someone of higher authority, whether it's a, a governing agency, uh, it could be a parent figure, it could be a boss or a leader or an organization. I, I feel like this is someone who is coming to deliver important news or it could be you uh, distributing something very important as well. So very beautiful here showing up. So let's get a look at your messages from your spiritual team. And you'll certainly see how these all fit in with what we've talked about here. So we have here, stand your ground. Uh, it's very important to ground yourself, but also to set healthy boundaries. And it says here, standing your ground is an empowering, confidence-building action to take from time to time. Now is the moment when you need to stand your ground. You know you can do it, and you know that by doing so, you will be the victor. Yes, you will. Standing your ground, standing in your power, creating balance, seeking balance and seeking connection here. And then aligned with this emperor, the emperor stands their ground. They don't let the difficulties, the challenges, the limiting beliefs, they don't let them hold uh, them back because the emperor wouldn't be able to build their empire if they let every single thing affect them. And that's what you're choosing to not do. You're not letting other people's beliefs about you or other people's opinions sway you any longer. You're making decisions for yourself, not just coming from the head, but the heart as well. I feel like you're meeting both of those in the middle. If your heart may, be, may have been in opposition with your head and you are going back and forth, back and forth, it's where you bring the two together and you're making a really important decision or a couple of decisions that are going to help you on a very beautiful soul level. Now you also have study. And it says here, spirit has its own special way of letting you know that it's time to study again. From time to time, it's important to go back and learn, whether that's learning old things in a new way or learning something totally new. This is an opportunity to expand your mind. So yes, the crown chakra opening up to new creative ideas, new beliefs, but also it really aligns with this hanged man energy. So if some of you have been feeling stuck, now you may have been feeling stuck in a rut here. Some of you may have been uh, filled with a little bit of anxiety or depression, or you just weren't qu quite sure of your next path. You're opening yourself up to a new way of thinking. Now it doesn't mean that you're going back to school here, but you may be learning and discovering things about yourself that were hidden or that you didn't have access to in the past because you weren't quite sure how to find it. But I do feel like there is something beautifully new presenting itself to you. And lastly, we have strength. And it says here, strength comes from many sources. Staying strong brings confidence. And you have that word confidence showing up numerous times throughout your reading. And they're also giving me the name here, Jeremy. Jeremy, if that is your name, please take it as it resonates. Uh, it says here, Staying strong brings confidence, conviction, and a balanced body, mind, and soul. Spirit has its own unique and beautiful way of replenishing your soul with strength on a continual basis. You're never really alone as we are always with you. So literally, the last card of your reading ties in with the very first card out here. So know that you're not alone here. These are two separate decks. Uh, all these cards pretty much are separate besides the main ones, but they all flow together. So that's your reminder that there's no such thing as coincidence, that everything is beautifully orchestrated and everything is energy. So even when we feel disconnected or we are questioning our existence or our importance or our own beliefs, 
Spirit wants you to know, Aries, that you are not alone, that you are a magnificent, powerful, magically wonderful soul that has come here to have this human experience. And sometimes the human experience can be challenging. It can be difficult, but it can also be one of the most beautiful things that you'll ever, you know, endure as well. So I do feel that there's a lot of changes happening around you, especially when it does come to your wealth, because again, self-worth equals net worth. And some of you may not agree. You may say, well, some of the happiest people that I know uh, don't have a lot of money, but it's because not a lot of people, well, I should say there's some people that see wealth as something completely different than just money. It doesn't have to just be monetary wealth. It can be having, you know, the wealth of friends and of family and of a beautiful heart being able to give. You can see, you know, beggars on the street or homeless people that can be the kindest, nicest people, but they don't have to have the nicest, best things because they appreciate the little things here. So I do feel very positive for you. You are coming out of something that's been challenging for you, but do know areas that calmer waters are ahead and you're not alone. I hope this resonates for you. If so, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. Oh, thank you, Spirit. One last thing here. There could be volunteer, uh, someone volunteering to either help you out or you are volunteering as well. They're showing me that, now they're literally showing me someone carrying a turkey. Now, obviously not everyone celebrates Thanksgiving. And uh, so I don't know if you may be listening to this as you're carrying a turkey or some of you uh, may have taken a, a turkey out of the freezer and that could be a lot of you as well. So, um, okay. Thank you, Spirit. It could also be symbolic for you uh, standing in your strength, that you are not... Um that you are braver than you think, that you have more than enough here. There's more than enough to share and spread the joy, spread the love. And I just feel very positive around mid to end of the month for you. Even mid um, November to mid December is going to be full of a lot of uh, breakthroughs, a lot of epiphanies and a very beautiful spiritual realization. So again, Aries, I hope this resonates. If so, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to share, comment, subscribe, or hit that notification bell. And I'm sending all of you beautiful Aries tons of love and light. Thank you so much for tuning in.